Forsyth, welcome to The Prowler, where we keep up with the news so you don't have to. Last week's football game was so baller, with a win against Springfield Catholic, another close game of 22-21. to Show out tonight at Mount Vernon for the second round of districts. Let's look at the other side of sports with Thomas. Thanks, Easton. Basketball has started this week, and athletes are putting in hard work. Let's go talk to Anna to find out more about what the basketball boys have been up to and what their plans are for this season. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Coach Smith. So what are you doing to prepare for this season? Uh, you know, we're in our two-a-day cycle right now, and it's kind of long, but the first two weeks are the roughest. Uh, you know, we do school work in the morning, and then I do more team play in the afternoon, just trying to get them acclimated to the, you know, getting out of their other sports and getting into mine. So it's kind of rough right now, but we're kind of getting ready through it. So it's a rough two weeks, but they'll make it. Awesome. So how do you think this season will go? Uh, I think, you know, the first year is always the hardest year because it's a new culture, new idea. So uh, I think that the second year is much easier because they kind of know even what the drills are and what I expect. So I literally look for us to have a good year. And, uh, you know, there's a little more buy-in, and I challenge them culturally all the time. So I think that I look for better things next year. Awesome. So I heard you're doing something over Christmas break. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, the basketball team is going to Kansas City. We're doing the 12 courts of Christmas. Uh, it's two games that we'll play on the 20th and 21st of uh, December. And uh, we're playing teams from anywhere you can possibly imagine. So it's a great experience. I'll take the team, you know, to Kansas City. We'll do some fun stuff. Uh, play some great talent, get, maybe get recognized a little bit for that adventure. So we're looking forward to that. It'll be a great time of Christmas. Cool. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thanks, Anna. Good luck this season. Last week, FFA attended the National Convention. Let's take a closer look at that with Louisa. Thanks, Sydney. Last week, FFA attended the National Convention. They had lots of fun, but also studied very hard to compete on Wednesday. McKenna placed ninth in the nation, and the team as a whole got fifth. Let's hear more with Willis. Thanks, guys. Today I'm here with McKenna Carter. She's a member of the FFA, and she recently went to Indianapolis on, for the national convention. How was that trip? It was a lot of fun. Um, it was a long drive, but it was a good experience to be able to go up to Indianapolis. Okay, and uh, what did you do to prepare for this trip? Um, we've been practicing since last uh, winter, spring-ish. We've been doing a lot of local contests. Um, you know, we spent the night before in the boardroom of the hotel going through our computers studying for a long time. So it was just a lot of work to prepare. Okay, okay. And it looks like the hard work paid off because you placed ninth. How does that feel? Um, it's pretty special. It was really cool to get to go to Lucas Oil and, you know, be on stage and accept an award. Um, it was just really great to be there with my team and everything. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you for your time. And back to you guys. Thanks, Willis. Congratulations to the team for their hard work. This week, Chloe, Zach, and Carly have an interesting segment for us. Let's go check it out. Thanks, guys. Today I'm here with a couple of mean football players. They're going to go through a series of football exercises. So, we're going to get to it. First, our contestants will take a handoff from the quarterback and run through the gauntlet where these pads are trying to knock them down. Once they make it through this, they will go over the speed ladder, trying not to catch their toe, but hit every box. After this, they will come up here and hit the pad, drive it across the cone line. Then the quarterback will throw them a ball over towards second base. We'll see if they can catch it, turn around, throw it back to the quarterback, and run and make a tackle on the pad.
So we have a tie. Carly won the skills challenge. Chloe won the 1v1s. So now we're going to determine the championship winner with a gritty off. Let's get to it. Hit it. Hey, hey, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, hey, hey. We had a couple dogs today in these challenges. Carly with the win. Catch Chloe on Friday night at Mount Vernon playing wide receiver. Back to you guys. Wow, that was great. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode. Remember, Forsyth, stay classy, not trashy. you've all been waiting for, I am very proud and excited to announce the newly elected Commander-in-Chief of our cell, the Fifth Hour Ribosomes. <laughs> and here to present their certificate of being newly elected to run the whole show, we have Fifth Hour Ribosomes. Here's your certificate, Commander-in-Chief of the cell. Yay! <laughs> Thank you for choosing the fifth hour ribosomes. We love you guys. <laughs> Go for the hour. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The game was so baller. With the. <laughs> hey, Forsyth, welcome to the parlor where we keep up the news so you don't have to. Last week's football game was so baller. For sure. With a win. <laughs> Stop. Wow. Why'd you laugh? Thanks, Easton. Basketball has started this week, and lots of work have been putting into these boys. I didn't sound right. <laughs>